Hello everyone, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install both non-powered and powered graphics cards into the HP Z420 workstation. You will not need any tools for this installation, and we recommend going through this process with the workstation on its side to better access the interior. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the blue light is completely shut off. This ensures all power is discharged from the system. Remove the left panel cover of the system to access the interior. This is done by pulling on the handle and gently pulling back on the panel itself. Once you are in the interior, find the two full-length PCIe slots. For one graphics card, you will only want to install into the slot closest to the processor. Make sure to match the generation of PCIe slot with the generation of the video card. Check with your video card manufacturer website in order to find out the generation of your video card. And also down below in the description, we have the link to the HP Z420 Quick Spec Sheet that'll tell you more about the video card generation it supports. Identify the green tabs holding the slot cover retainer in place. Push these down and they will slide back. You can now remove the needed slot covers. After removing the cover, you can install the video card by inserting the card into the slot. Ensure you pull back on the green tab and press firmly down to ensure a 90 degree angle and clean install. It will not move too much once you have it firmly in place. To install a full size graphics card with power connections, you will essentially use the same procedure for this except for a couple of differences. First, remove two slot covers to make room for the video card. Then, carefully insert the card and ensure the card is firmly inserted at a 90 degree angle. Ensure the empty slot covers align with the graphics card ports and push down. A retaining bracket and fan are needed for some larger Quadro video cards. Once it is clicked into place, push the bracket retainer tabs back into their original position to hold the card well in place. The HP Z420 has two 6-pin connections for power to a card. You can use one or two. For this card, two are needed. They will snap into place when correctly aligned, and now the card is powered. Now replace the outer panel and the graphics card is ready for use. Plug your power back in and turn your computer on and you are done. Please check out our other how-to videos covering processors, memory, and video cards as well as an in-depth system overview of the HP Z420. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more helpful. Thank you for tuning in.